Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist and today I'm extremely happy to introduce to you new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. I'm talking about select subject. Um, as a photographer and digital artist, I'm um, exchanging my background and selecting my uh, subject all the time using select uh, subject new feature uh, will bring my workflow to another level. Everything will be much quicker and easier. So guys, let's start. Today we will exchange this yellow background to something very uh, wintry and uh, I'm using a very difficult image. I'm using a model with a lot of flying hair with um, yellow background and uh, guys, I just wanted to show to you real life example. So guys, let's start. Before I will start my post-production, I would like to unlock my uh, image, unlock my layer. To unlock your layer, simply click on um, lock icon and voila, your image on your layer is unlocked. Um, my image I would like to use today as a background located in my Creative Cloud library. To add your image from your Creative Cloud library to your uh, image, simply click on this image and drag into your document. Now, holding, uh, clicking and holding shift key, I will resize my image, I will make it bigger and of course I can resize and adjust it later on, so no stress in here. And I will restock my layers right now, I will bring my wintry um, forest uh, and layer under my uh, main um, layer, under my models layer. So now I highlighted my uh, top layer, my model layer, and I will start uh, selecting my uh, main subject. To select my main subject, I always using um, quick selection tool. Now I activated se my selection, uh, quick selection tool, and as you can see in options bar, I have new button. I have select subject button. Simply click on it and voila guys, Photoshop selected your subject for you. Guys, only with one click, uh, less than one second, Photoshop selected your main subject. Now definitely I need to work on area around her hair and everything like that. So I will jump to select and mask workspace. To be redirected to select and mask workspace, simply click on uh, select and mask um, button which is located next to select subject button and to, voila you are redirected to select and mask workspace here using um, refine uh, age brush i will uh, correct area around her hair just like that no stress just easy and guys, be honest, I'm using real uh, difficult image to work with. Um, this model has a lot of hair, flying hair. Uh, she has a yellow background and we exchange this yellow background to completely different. We, we are exchanging this yellow background to a forest background. So guys, this is um, a very difficult image. And as you can see, we have no problem to um, uh, adjust. Uh, this background. Now guys, um, I will switch from uh, onion skin view mode to uh, black and white to preview area around her hair. And if, if I will need, I will adjust it in real time. And this is what I'm doing right now. Just like that, this area. And now I will switch to another view uh, mode. I will switch to overlay. and. I will correct few mistakes if I will need it and I need it just just very quick and I will switch back to my favorite view I will switch back to my onion skin preview and voila now guys um probably just let me correct this part of her hair now guys we need to specify our output setting uh, before that I will check smart radius box just like that and also I will specify output a setting to new layer with layer mask and also I will check decontaminate colors box just like that and voila click OK perfect so guys 
Uh, now uh, our model has her own separate layer with no background with um, a layer mask. If I would like to come back and um, adjust my uh, uh, selection and mask, I will double click on select and mask uh, um, button and I will be redirected back to same workspace. But to be able to apply double click, you need to activate this option. You need to go to preferences, tools, and you need to check uh, double click layer mask, launch, select in mask workspace, and voila. Using a free transform tool, I will resize my top layer, my model layer, for better composition, just like that. Perfect. I will click OK and voila. We have perfectly selected model and we have also background. Now, definitely, I need to adjust colors. I will click on adjustment. I will click on a selective color and I will click on add a clipping mask. Um, now my um, adjustment layer adjustment will be applied only to the layer below adjustment layer. I will switch colors to yellows and I will bring yellow slider slightly to the left and black slider slightly to the left as well, just like that. Now, guys, I will add another adjustment layer. Um, I will click on color lookup. I will add a clipping mask. So my adjustment um, layer will be applied. Uh, my adjustment will be applied only to the layer below adjustment layer. And I will switch to, let's see, drop blues. Yes, I like drop blues. Because I applied adjustment a separate layer, I will bring down opacity of this layer. Just like that. Perfect. I like it a lot. Now, guys, I'm satisfied with composition and colors. I just need to apply a few um, last touches. I will uh, merge my layers. I will click on flatten image. And Photoshop is asking me, discard hidden layers. Yes, please. I will click OK. I will duplicate this layer just to show you before our last steps and after. I will go to filter, camera raw filter, and here I will switch to my hue um, uh, panel. I will move orange slider slightly, slightly to the left. Guys, don't try to, re uh, to move sliders all the way to the left or all the way to the right. If you will move your orange slider all the way to the left, you will have uh, a dead person effect. So just slightly, just slightly. And same about yellows. I will switch to basics. I will adjust uh, exposure, contrast. Guys, uh, everything depends on your image. Um, you need to play with sliders. You need to see um, what um, combination is better for you. Just like that. Maybe I will come back to hue and I will adjust blues slider just slightly. Just like that. Perfect. I will click OK. Uh, if you would like, guys, you can uh, add a few more adjustments. I will click on adjustment. I will click on um, color lookup and I will try to apply crisp winter just like that. But because I applied uh, adjustments as separate layer, I can adjust my adjustment layer at any time. So I would like to bring down um, intensity of my adjustment layer. I will bring opacity to probably just slightly to 29%. Now we have uh, image uh, with uh, right composition in uh, um, right color um, spectrum. Uh, if I will merge my um, top two layers, and I will show you before our um, last steps and after, we will see huge difference. Right now, guys, um, this image like uh, was taken uh, outside in winter time. Nobody will um, even uh, guess that our original image was taken somewhere with very uh, bright yellow colors. Uh, so guys, this is 
of what I wanted to share with you. Uh, I'm extremely happy about new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. This feature is select subject feature. Uh, I hope I know you will like this f uh, feature as much as I do. And if you have any questions, guys, just ask me. Thank you, guys, and I will see you later. Bye.